Now, President Moon Jae-in is insisting South Korea will never arm itself with nuclear weapons. During a sit-down with CNN on Thursday, so prior to this missile launch, the president ruled out the possibility of U.S. nukes ever being redeployed in South Korea, saying such a move would only spark a nuclear arms race in the region. But he recognized the need for South Korea to bolster its military capabilities in other ways to cope with North Korea. Park Hee-joon with more. Just days before his departure to New York City, President Moon Jae-in squashed the idea of South Korea's self-nuclear armament amid North Korea's recent missile launches and nuclear tests. In a one-on-one -on -one interview with CNN on Thursday afternoon, President Moon said he doesn't agree Seoul needs to develop its own nuclear weapons or relocate U.S. tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean peninsula, as such move could lead to a nuclear arms race in the region. However, he did highlight that Seoul needs to develop its own military capabilities amid Pyongyang's nuclear advancements. Regarding the latest UN Security Council resolution on the regime, the South Korean leader said the adoption is meant to prevent any war-triggering act and is now up to North Korea to make the right conditions for peace and dialogue. President Moon emphasized the international community, let alone South Korea, will never accept a nuclearized North Korea. He also expressed his frustration and once again condemned North Korea's reckless behavior despite Seoul's past efforts to resume dialogue, saying it is not helpful to North Korea itself or inter-Korean relations and threatens world peace. He also said the combined defense capabilities of South Korea and the U.S. are enough to neutralize any threat from North Korea in its early stage. However, President Moon once again underscored that his administration doesn't have a hostile policy toward the North Korean regime and thus will not push for an artificial or forced reunification. President Moon will fly out to New York next Monday, where he will deliver a keynote speech during the 72nd UN General Assembly, seeking the international community's consensus on North Korea's nuclear issues. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.